Welcome back to AJM CSS Hacks. So as before, I'm going to have this little kind of practice page for us set up here. Um, and then I'll toggle back and forth between this post and show you how to apply it. So first and foremost, with any CSS, the most important thing is figuring out how to target the thing that you're trying to change. That's really the hardest part. And after that, learning the actual um, other bits of CSS is pretty simple. So for in this post, I've shown you all of the different targets for every type of button um, that I could think of in Squarespace. So I've started with the small button. Um, I've made a note here just because small buttons are what's styled on my site. But if you've styled your medium and large button as well or want to use those, you can just change this to medium or large. Um, Lightbox form buttons, form buttons, header buttons, newsletter buttons, etc. That's all here. Um, I'm going to only do an example on a couple of them today. But just note that with any CSS, all you have to change is the target and then you it'll apply to that thing. So first and foremost, I'll just go ahead and start. I'll scroll down here. I'm going to go ahead and start with some basic CSS with my small button. So you'll see here I've styled a small button and a light box form button and I'll work with the small button first. So again, most importantly, you have that target correctly, and then you can start working inside your brackets. Now I'm gonna kind of copy and paste some stuff over for the sake of time. So let's just take this set over. I wanna close my bracket, and that'll change the look of our button. So the border can be, you know, the thickness of the border can be changed based on the pixels. You could change, um, the color of the outline of the button, if you wanted, you can change. I actually have the background color as transparent here. Um, you could change that, you know, to whatever color you think makes sense. Um, color, this is the color of the font. You could also change that if you wanted. So whatever you want, um, border radius, of course, is the rounding of the button. So based on your brand, you can edit that. I have square buttons on my site, so maybe I'd want them to be square. So that's some really basic uh, no, everyday stuff we can do with our buttons. Again, going back up to these targets, if I decided, oh, I actually want this to be for my light box button, not my small button, all you have to do is change the target. Um, of course, for whatever reason, it's not working correctly. Let's see. Okay, figured it out. Um, one thing I have to remind myself sometimes, if a piece of code is not working, always try adding the important uh, piece in there. And that was the issue there. So I was making sure I had everything else correct. Um, so yeah, that's it. So we could always go back and forth between, you know, that is just an easy way to show you. Just changing the target there is um, yeah, what changes what it's targeting. So anyway, moving on, um, that's the basic stuff. So next you can scroll down in the post and there's a lot more really fun stuff. So for example, there's a hover fill effect. So just what we just did, there is some more, um, some more code in here. Everything from here on, you just don't even mess with. You can just change all the stuff above like we talked about, and then you can, um, change the hover effect. One cool thing to know, again, when it comes to that targeting, you can always do colon hover, and it will then apply that to the hover instead of the button itself. So, you know, that applies to with, let's say we want to go back to that light box form. Really put that in there with the colon hover. And now it's applying what we've styled to the hover. So again, just, just knowing those little things like always adding the hover, how to target, that gets you a long way. So I won't apply all of these, but you can scroll through and see them in the post. Um, drop shadow. So again, for example, my site is black, so it's actually going to be hard to see, but I could do, let's pretend I wanted a dark drop shadow, which I hope you can see a little bit there. Um, and if I wanted it only on hover, again, you just add that back in and it'll only pop up on hover. So you can scroll through, see that here, you know, change the color on hover. So you could 
you know, target it, change the color of the button itself, and then add this below to change the color of the hover. Um, gradient buttons are really fun. I love doing these. So another really fun way, again, you could just change the target here to whatever type of button you're trying to target. If it's not the small button or if it's a light box button and all the stuff in the bracket stays the same, um, except for the colors and all that stuff you want to change. Um, one really nice thing too, is every now and then I have, uh, I want to make like a one button stand out. It's not my normal styled button. So that's basically it. I went back and added in my normal um, website code here. And you can see I have the hover effect. So again, you, you know, do all, it's all in the post, style all the colors and all of that, and then style what you want for the hover. Um, super fun to mess around with. So I hope you enjoy it.